Welcome to the Learn to Sew Academy channel. Please remember to subscribe. Thank you. Today we're going to be talking about the essential tools that you need to start sewing. These are just basics that you need as a beginner. And these will help you to put together a basic sewing kit. The first item you definitely need as you begin to sew is a pair of scissors. But I have two scissors here because we always advise that you don't use the same scissors that you use to cut your fabric to cut paper. So if you're going to be cutting different materials like paper, Velcro, we'll advise that you get a separate scissors. As you can see, I've marked this for paper so that if anybody comes into my studio and they need to cut, they will know that this is what we use to cut paper and they will not use the fabric scissors to cut paper. So now the reason why we say you don't use the same scissors for fabric and paper is because when you use your scissors to cut paper, it dulls the scissors and then when you need it for the fabric, it will not be sharp enough. The next item you're going to need is a seam ripper. This come in different shapes looks and sizes as we can see here most of them come covered this is to protect you from these sharp surfaces this is what they look like we all need seam rippers regardless of what level of sewing you're doing this help you to take apart the seams if you make an error and you need to take the seams apart this is what these are some of them come with your sewing machine, like this came with one of my sewing machines. And this is another type of seam ripper. This is a detachable one where you just slide it, you slide it off and you replace with these other ones. So these are seam rippers and you just, you're going to need just one. I'm just showing you the different types so you have an idea when you go to the store you're going to be needing pins and pin cushions the pin cushions you can get them in different size in different shapes different looks they come in some fun looking shapes these days so these are pin cushions and this even come with a tape measure this is so good you know a retractable tape measure this is so good to take with you if you need to measure somebody on the go or something but they don't all come with this but this particular one does so you have different pink cushions and then you have pins they come in different shapes too you have those that are just like the basic pins like this you have other ones that are like this and they come in different sizes like this for instance is the long type this right here is the middle size as you can see and yet you have some that are even smaller than this size so they come in different shapes and sizes you just need to get a few the medium size is good and for beginners it's good to get one that has this ballpoint head because it's easy for you to pick it up it's easy for you to find it when it falls on the ground because it's so colorful and then it's easy for you to pick it and you know stick it here it doesn't go into your pink cushion as much like this so it's easy for you to pull it out so for beginners this is good for you to have as your choice of pin you also be needing thread as you work on different projects threads come in this different colors and they come in different textures well, you want to buy high quality thread and a good place to start as a beginner is to buy a an all-purpose thread meaning that you can use it as a general use thread you can use it on different kinds of fabric there are also specialty thread like thread for embroidery heavy duty thread that you use for every fabric like canvases like denims and you also have 100% cotton thread, you have polyester thread, you have a blend of polyester and cotton. 
but these all-purpose thread they are always very good for you to use for different kind of projects and different kind of fabric so as a beginner I would recommend you start with an all-purpose thread and needles are essentials that you also need to keep around we can never get rid of them we'll always need them in our projects many times you need your and needles to finish up your projects so you want to make sure you get one it's good to get one in different sizes you can pick up a pack that comes in different sizes and keep that around you in addition to that it's also always good to have extra machine needles around you can get a universal needle if you're not sure what exact size you use so these are good to have around because as you sew, you may come across situations where your machine needle breaks. So you want to have extra in the house so that if that happens, you're able to change your machine needle and continue on with your projects. Another very important tool is your tape measure. You are always going to need this. So you need to have some in your sewing kit. They come in different sizes. This one is 36 inches long and this is 60 inches long and there are some that are even longer than that. So based on what you feel you're going to be needing, so you get the right size for you. But I would advise you get at least the 60 inches length. now your marking tools you're going to need some shock to mark your fabric or your project with so these here are tailor's shock they come in different colors as you can see and they come in different shapes and sizes this is also another tailor's shock that comes as a rectangle this is a tailor's shock as well and it comes with this bristles at the tip of it then these are tailor's pencils this is also a tailor's pencil you can call it a pencil shock so these right here are pencil sh shocks or shock pencil like some people will call it and these are water soluble markers meaning that when you use them and you wash your fabric it washes off so this right here are your marking tools now the rulers you also will need rulers as you start to sew you can use any straight surface if you don't have any regular ruler like this you can also use just um, a small ruler that you have around the house only that that will only be for shorter surfaces if you need to measure something but if you can afford it it's good for you to have a longer ruler either the clear one or the wooden one a magnet is also a good thing for you to have because this helps you when you drop pins on the ground for instance and you need to pick it up a magnet will make it really easy for you to pick it or even if you can't find the pins you just know there are pins on the floor you can just use your magnet to pick up your pins or your needle or whatever so this is very good essential for you to have if possible and then you can also see that I have a safety pin right here there's another one that I always attached to my pin cushions this is also a very good essential for you to have at the beginning because you may have projects that require you using safety pins so it's good to have this handy as well the next item I want to talk about is something that we're all familiar with that you already have in your home, the pressing iron house. So this is very good to help make your projects come out looking neater. When you pick your pressing iron, check the reviews. Make sure you get one that doesn't leak water. If you're buying one that you have to put water in, a steam iron, make sure that it doesn't leak water because you don't want that to happen 
while you're working on a project especially if you have a fabric that you don't need water getting on as you start to sew you just need a basic sewing machine this is a really small sewing machine this is even great for little kids that are beginning serious sewing this is not a toy it's a real machine that works great so you just need this basic machine when you start especially if you're not sure how much sewing you're going to be doing you can start with something that is really simple and basic just few stitches here just as a starter machine this right here is another basic simple machine it's bigger than the first one i showed you this is very basic and like i said you just start with something basic as you start to sew and if you decide you're going to be doing more stuff like embroidery and all that then you can invest in a bigger sewing machine but when you pick your sewing machine it is advisable you go online check reviews see the ones that are like most popular see the ones with the highest rating read what people are saying about it and to see if it's going to fit into what your needs are before you pick a sewing machine if you don't already have one this is another basic sewing machine as you can see you have variety to choose from i'll leave a link below and on this video on the unboxing of this particular sewing machine if you would like to see you can see what comes with this sewing machine and all that and i'll leave a link in the description to where you can get all the sewing essentials that are presented in this short video so here you have it your basic beginner sewing essentials so these are all that you need to start sewing as a beginner hope this video has been helpful to you if it has please remember to give it a thumbs up and please remember to share and don't forget to subscribe and please click on the bell icon so you can get notified when we upload new videos see you in the next video thank you